Hi Scorpio, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation, <clears throat> okay? Happy birthday. <laughs> what up, <else>, Scorpio? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box down below, okay? If you go to um, either of my websites, you will um, see what it is that I may be able to assist you with, to assist yourself. That's what it's about. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it here, darling. <clears throat> information do you have for my beautiful Scorpios, please? What information do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? They birthday month. Uh, mm, indecision. Mm, need to get rooted. Mm, daughter value. We ain't seen that in a long time. And what better time than your birthday? Ooh, crown chakra activation. Deep gratitude and appreciation for a decision that you make. Taking action here towards something. There's some deceit here, so hold on. There's a lot of cards that I'm pulling. Why am I still pulling? Why am I still pulling? I ain't trying to be in here all day, okay? Pull three more. All right. Because I had to see where that deceit was crossing into um, before I get into it. So the first three cards out, the first card you have is indecision, okay? You're at a crossroads or you came to a crossroads or will be coming to a crossroad where you will... Um, Whatever decision you make is going to have a huge impact, right? Because we make a lot of small decisions throughout the day, right? But this is something huge. This is something that has to do with um, laying the foundation for even um, bigger plans in the future. This, this is exactly what they said, the future. Now, they, don't, they speak with a T, a big T, capital T at the end. This decision that you need to make or will be making um, has a lot to do with um, going over where you've been in the past three to four years. Some of y'all were caught up in a cycle that you finally realized that, you know, it's time for a change when it comes to something in your life, okay? I feel like that you um, are going into a deep space of gratitude. You're, you finally realize what you made it through, what you made it out of right here. Because with this 15, you got that 8. Whatever decision that you make is going to really propel you forward, right? You are focused on what kind of karma or what kind of result that you want and how it will benefit uh, you and those around you in the future, right? Some of you may be serving others or realizing how you can serve other people here. But overall, I feel as though um, a lot of things have changed in your life. It, it may even feel as though um, a lot of the things that you were watering, a lot of the things that you were giving attention to, a lot of things that were taking your attention were not worthy of your attention. A lot of things that you were watering, it just wasn't bearing no fruit. So now you are in a space where you are ready to um, move forward, and then you have this uh, root chakra. So now that you get into this space where you are making a decision and you are stabilizing the energies that you are now bringing in because you say yes to your process, right? You say you yes to this next life cycle, this next part of your journey. So now you're in this space of you're ready to um, collaborate even more so with um, like working with others in some capacity, right? But what's going to happen is it's going to um, kind of uh, shift the route, right? Because you can't, they're saying that, you know, you may be trying to deal with situations the way that new situations, the way that you dealt with past situations, right? And this is just you resolving um, issues that you have with how you collaborate, how you communicate, um, how you are out in this world, right? Um, I also feel with this root chakra that it's a lot of security. You are feeling, uh, you'll, you'll be stabilizing to the point where you feel secure in your grounding. You feel very grounded and rooted here so that you can make certain decisions and know that you are making the right decisions, which is going to lead you to the door of value. Okay? Three, three, three. And it has to do with your heart and your root chakra. Clearing those out. Heart chakra, root chakra. Has a lot to do with your money, your finances, uh, your ability to um, water, water. There's something about watering. You know, watering the seeds that you've planted that 
um, or have the potential to uh, grow into more. So I think that you'll be doing a lot of assessing because you also have the strategy card here. With that strategy card, this is you coming up with um, ideal so solutions, right? Taking action towards the, the things that you are um, writing out, right? This is a dedicated to-do list or something like that. Something about writing it out and, and um, choosing the direction that you wish to go. Some of you may even be relocating. That That's going to open up a lot for you as well. Um, there may be a lot of self-love, self-empowerment, self-evaluation, um, self-discipline. There may be a number of things that are coming into you, um, into your life for you to um, visit or revisit that you may have, uh, you know, I feel like some of you may have given your power over here in the past, whether it's your job, uh, love life, children, whatever it is, and you are re, you're stabilizing who you truly are. Like, how do you identify um, what is your identity, your role or identity in this world at this point, right? Some of you may even have gone through empty nest syndrome or um, have separation, separation anxiety with your children or something like that, okay? Wait. Boom forward. Now, with this door of value, uh, you moving it more into this space where you <clears throat> know that you are of value and you add value to people, right? And you are receiving this abundant energy where it's going to provide a new beginning for you. Again, what's at the root of this is appreciation, gratitude. You're beginning to see that when you water this certain thing or when you the things that you pay attention to, the things you give your attention to um, will grow, right? And it's with gentleness, ease, and grace right here, okay? Clarify this door value. Love has to do with your love. Someone may, you may even get someone who showers you with affection and you didn't know what that meant or how that felt in your recent uh, experiences, right? And it's like, you go back and forth with yourself thinking like, nah, this can't be right. That's, yeah. That's where that deceit comes in. You feel as though, no, this person is hiding something. It's like you're looking too much into it. Again, you are dealing with your present based on your past instead of letting this person be who they are and reveal who they are and not being so invested in the person to where they become so much a part of you that they are taking you off your plan, okay? Some of you are being healed from third-party situations and this person is coming in or this situation is coming in to help you to heal from that. What is this third party? This is friendships, right? Uh, you may even be healing. Uh, I know in the recent past, in the past few months, I think it's been three or four months maybe, I did y'all's uh, situation, your spiritual conversation, and there was an issue with um, friendships. So you may be mending friendships with, it may have been one of them situations. Y'all know how I go. You have a group of friends, so-called, because I don't know what, what y'all call friends. But you have a group of friends and associates, right? And um, there's always, you know, a bad egg, right? So the bad egg may have been revealed. And now with the the different uh, going back and forth, maybe some catty behavior, maybe some... Because, uh, you know, the bad egg will whisper or, you know, chunk rocks and hold their hands in, in amongst friends to try to separate, right? They're usually someone who is jealous or very uh, protective or possessive of one of the people. And they want to cause a divide so that they that these people won't be together. So I feel like this friendship is healing. They want you to um, listen to your friends or listen to those people that you hold dear to you and come from a more compassionate space with that heart um, energy. So you want to do your heart affirmations in the morning. Forgive yourself and forgive other people. Forgive the you know whatever it is that you are seeing. Because I feel like a lot of things are going to come to you in a dream. Some of you are so connected to your friends that they come to you in your dreams. They come to you um, throughout the day, you know, uh, whispering and saying things to you. Um, that's how strong your connection is with certain people. But this is about building long-lasting friendships. The Healer of Ages is also crossing that with the Heart Chakra crossing that. And it's really saying that, you know, it's time to release and, and just uh, it's, there's a lot of self-acceptance. Because a lot of the um, injury that may have happened in a group of friends may have had a lot to do with someone who was saying that they were one way, but they were being another way in this group of friends, right? And so now you all, well, maybe it's three of y'all, four of y'all, y'all come together to heal and mend because there's a lot of work that y'all can make happen, right? Some of these people in your friend group are your soulmate. One of them is your soulmate. Now, there's a lot of patience. Some of you may even come to a space where there's a standstill. 
when it comes to your plans, because you get your plans together, you see where you're watering the right thing and moving forward, and there's like a break. In that break, in that deep freeze, in that space where you just need to, you know, patience is key, patience is of a virtue, things are working out in the background, we're setting it up so that you can be in the right place at the right time, we got to get these other people across the world on the right, you know, in alignment so that everything falls into place, so then you go into this space of moving more into your self-love practices, your um, practices of... Um, you know, taking care of yourself when it comes to how you are. Taking care of yourself even in group environments. Because sometimes people can get so involved in group environments, they lose who they are. They think that the group de defines them or determines who they are and how they should move in certain spaces, right? So you're calling back in your power. You may be taking a trip or a small retreat here with this journey card. Yeah. Maybe some type of anxiety or some type of stress or, um, you know, any miss any any there may be something that has to do with um, thoughts of despair right this may be that you are not comfortable in your skin and so you are working on getting like some of you may be taking a, a trip to get some cosmetic surgery you may be taking a trip to um, go to some weight loss or um, health boot camp or something like that this has a lot to do with how you view yourself, I feel. How do you view yourself, right? Um, so you may be um, doing some things to try and change your appearance, trying to change. Remember, it's always an inside job. If you do anything to change your appearance, right? Because I feel like this may be just like some fillers or some um, breast or maybe even liposuction, whatever it is, right? Whatever you are doing to try and change the outer, they're telling you that the inner is the most important right because our beauty shines from within out all this gonna fade just you know gotta make amends with like i do the best i can i monsterize but at the end of the day where does my heart where is what does my heart speak what does my soul speak right because that's going to be exuded all out and about around you that's why some of y'all be mad oh he was messed with that old uh, he cheated on me with that old ugly girl blah 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 well she confident though you call him ugly. He saw a lot of beauty. You know. But I'm just saying. It be that way, baby. Now, with this hill, you got a lot of fives. One, two, three. Well, three fives. Three fives, three threes. So, with this um, he uh, healer of um, ages, wherever it is that you take a trip to, a lot of you will be doing a lot of astral traveling. Please be careful with that. We need to talk about it one day. Because a lot of times, um, the astral traveling can get some things. You can bring things back with you as well. So you want to be mindful of that. I think we talked about that over the years. But um, there are some things that I that um, I have my take on, okay, when it comes to that. Because I haven't done it, right? I haven't studied astral traveling, astral projecting. It never has been something I wanted to do, right? But I do, um, from my studies, understand how a lot of people are learning and doing things that they're not in a space for okay but with this healer of ages um this is going to bring you a lot of abundance cornucopia by you staying in alignment with your assignment staying in tune with your star player staying within your realm we are all individual have all individual Realm. So you are standing within your realm and boom, 1111. You get what it is that you desire. You get what it is that you, you planted seeds for. Because I, I really feel like many of you may have been in a space where you were ready to give up hope on something. Like maybe work, uh, looking for a job. You may have began to give up hope um, when it comes to relationships or making the right decisions, you know, for the right reasons or what have you. And we just went over this yesterday on, um, I did a video yesterday on Patreon about friendships and relationships because your relationship with yourself is one of the most important relationships and then your relationship with other people, right? And really defining what that is and how does that look and how can you grow even more so and what type of friend you are. This has a lot to do with that, I think, okay? And why do I say that? Because of this this group of friends, this group of self-love. The self-love is the friendship that you have with yourself, the relationship that you have with yourself overall. Because the, uh, health, the, the healthier, um, whatever healthy is to you, okay? The healthier the relationship is with yourself, it opens up for you to have healthy relationships with other people, okay? 
So that cornucopia of blessings is coming up and through here. This may even be that you work with the fairy, fairy realm. Um, there's a beam of light that is coming in. There's a lot of um, eye-opening experiences that will begin to transpire. Um, I also feel like many of you will be uh, finally visiting someone's gravesite who um, you haven't put a flowers on their grave or you haven't um, did the things that were necessary for you. you some of y'all ain't even cried about something that you were grieving or someone that you were grieving. But you're going to get an epiphany when you do finally break down and cry. You're going to get um, this insight because you got the crown chakra right before the appreciation card. So you're going to get this insight, this this aha moment, this this um, what something that you can build on because you made this decision in the first place, right? Some of you saying yes to your process up here, okay? Some of you might work with Archangel Michael. Yeah, look at this. In a short time. Whatever this is, it's not going to take long for you to get this revelation. It's not going to take long for you to get these visions, this um, insight, this aha moment. Uh, there may even be a very strong download that is coming in where you are realizing... Uh, where you are realizing who is for you and who is not. And it's something about you. This will... Um, help you to interpret more. Like some of you may be life coaches. Some of you may be um, people who work with uh, people in relationships or some, something to that effect, okay? There's more information coming in on your writing, more information coming in on your speaking, more information coming in on how you are and how you present yourself, stability of this new beginning, stabilizing you so that when this new um, leap of faith, when it's time for you to take this trip, take this journey, uh, say yes to this process and really just jump out here and jump into it, you know, <laughs> whatever, um, it's going to happen quickly. Can't make it up. The surprise. These are the Insight Plan Cards. Psychic, it's called Psychic Reading Made Easy, and it's by Ruth Lorden. Um, these are available on her website here, or will be soon. I'll let y'all know. But I just feel like y'all, y'all are ready. Some of you, look, you're relocating or taking a, a trip back to your old stomping ground. You're where you were, where you lived in your youth. I don't need all these cards. Uh, where you were or where you, something about taking a journey back, okay? So some of you are jumping in a time machine as well. Even if it's like going to actual landmarks, you may visit something that feels like home. They're like, I don't even know what this is. I don't, this this can be part of my ancestry. And you realize like it, it's part of your um, DNA, which is still your ancestry, right? Okay. But it's still, it, it there's a connection to you in this space and it's like it's weird to you or it comes off as like um, you kind of stand offish because it's like, how is this? <laughs> yeah, I knew I was going to play with this thing, right? And it's like, how is it that I, how does this feel like home to me? Someone may be coming to visit you and it's like y'all finally meet and it's like, like home but you still have to be you know use your discernment and stand in who you are and allow things to unravel we live in a microwave society everybody want everything fast okay um i also feel with this self-love card here that um there's some assessing to do um in your community of friends you may even be part of a spiritual community a, a work environment school whatever it is Something is, there's something being shed from you of who you were so that you can stand more in your truth when it comes to being in cooperation with other people. Because I feel like some of you may have um, gotten away from or, you know, kind of got standoffish with some people in your circle because you assessed it wrong, right? You looked at it wrong. But let me clarify this uh, deceit card for you here. Yeah. See, you got to allow things. This is a smoky mirror. You need to allow things to be what they are. And it will be revealed to you what's really going on instead of you, you know, your ego telling you or your past experiences telling you what this is, right? Uh, this smoky mirror has a lot to do with when the fog clears, you're going to see exactly what needs to be done and how to do it. And then you um, got the medicine wheel. Yep. So it's, it's like some of you may be working with herbs. Yep. You're about to pinpoint this shit. You're about to break it down and pinpoint it. It's like no... 
No time is being wasted. I see what's going on. I put all that together. I see how that connect. Can I, you know, can I tell you otherwise right now at this point, right? Because you are so in truth, in tune with your truth and your situation. Things are beginning to happen back to back to back to back to back. To back. See, that's what that is right there. How is it happening? Back to back to back to back to back. How is it happening, Scorpio? Back to back to back to back. Hmm. You know you're on a straight and narrow for whatever your path is right here. You know that you need to take, um, if this is the time for you to take full-on responsibility of your direction because the wheel, the karmic wheel, right? The wheel is spinning in your favor. It's up. So by the time it goes down, and that's what I'm saying, you got blossom, I mean, cornucopia blessings. I don't know why I got blossoming abundance in her. This is emotional satisfaction, emotional ease, release of those things that no longer serve you. There is also, what the what is that, a dragon? It looks like a unicorn dragon. Now then, uh, but it's in the clouds, <clears throat> and it's, it's, okay, it's, let me see, let me show y'all, it's a unicorn dragon, I don't know what that look like to y'all, it's right here, okay, and it's biting at that deceit, that's that smoking mirror, it's, it's coming to you, you're having revelations about things that are true and those things that are not, that, that means that you're not taking my word, you're not taking nobody else's word, you um highly connected, highly divinely protected and divinely directed, you're taking the word that you need to, you're sitting still with this patient card when you need to, you're taking trips, moving, changing direction when you need to, Making self-care a priority. Making sure that overall you love and identify with who you are before even getting into group settings. Okay. Before taking anybody else's uh, word for anything. I know y'all going to be in the comments. Uh, we Scorpio. We don't do this and do that. Well, you don't know all the Scorpios. Thank you. Assessing, allowing things to end and be where they are in this, um, it, it, whether it's a third-party situation or um, a, a, a unit of uh, people that are close to you here. Uh, you know, taking time out to do things that, that are necessary here. You may even be using your 90-day journey to mindfulness, right? Because now you have figured out some of your patterns of behavior by going back into um, those things that um, have happened in the past when it came to this indecision, you see. And so now you are stabilizing, right? You're resolving a lot of that root, um, a lot of issues that were rooted deeply in you, a lot of patterning, conditioning, programming, right? And by doing so, you walk into the door of value. This is excitement. This is pleasure. This is also um, accumulating the abundance that you have put out. I mean, the accumulating the abundance that has been put out, that has been bestowed upon you for you to enjoy, whatever that means. I feel like it's an abundance of love. Taking action here, and not only for your personal satisfaction, you're taking action so that you can make things happen in a loving way, it feels like, okay? Because at the end of the day, you don't know how much things are about to change. And this is going to bring a lot of balance to you. This is going to, a lot of things are going to begin to blossom for you over the next few months. It's on you how you approach them. This does not mean that everything is going to be hunky-dory. There may be some challenges and obstacles in between time and the meantime. But it's on you how you recoup and what you do, how you do what you do. That's what they say. Okay? You are seeing things for what they are, not being self-deceived, nor even um, allowing others to deceive you as well. Be mindful of your money. Be mindful of who you are lending money to, asking money from who. Um, be mindful of the uh, verbal agreements that you are making at this time because you don't want to have to pay back out of what it is that you are receiving. There may even be someone around you that sees that you have an abundance coming in and they're trying to block your light. You want to be mindful of that. Um, that's why I say stay connected. Stay connected, baby. Stay connected. That's all I can tell you. That's as simple as I can put it. Because when you are truly connected and know that you are divinely protected and divinely respected, anything that you go through, you will be able to make it through. Okay? So don't rest upon your laws. Make sure that you stay stay, stay on the journey. Stay on the path, babe. Do the best you can, when you can, and how you can. When it's time for you to pull back and relax, pull back and relax. Don't fight the flow. That's what they said. This water. All right. I love y'all. That's y'all birthday read. I'm not singing happy birthday today because I need my voice for these other four videos.